प्यारे बच्चों आज दे पाठ विच सारियां दा जी आया नु असी जानदे हां कि फिजिक्स क्वांटिटेटिव मेजरमेंट्स उत्ते आधारित है शब्द मेजरमेंट ग्रीक वर्ड मेट्रन तो निकलया है जिस दा भाव है लिमिटेड प्रोपोर्शन अपनी आज दी क्लास विच असी मेजरमेंट ते उना मेथड्स से विचार करंगे जिना नाल मास अते वेट मापया जांदा है पर इस तो पहला कि असी विषय दे विस्तार विच जाइए आओ आज दे पाठ दे लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स उत्ते एक चात पा लिए ऑन कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन द टर्म मेजरमेंट स्टेट द एसआई यूनिट ऑफ मास डिस्कस द अवेलेबिलिटी ऑफ different prototypes of the international kilogram define one atomic mass unit and its importance state the different methods used to measure masses in daily life state the range over which masses varies इंट्रोडक्शन की ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜਾਣਦੇ ਹੋ ਕਿ ਮਾਸ ਕੀ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਮਾਸ ਲੈਟਿਨ ਭਾਸ਼ਾ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਬਦ ਮਿਸਾ ਤੋਂ ਨਿਕਲਿਆ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਦਾ ਅਰਥ ਹੈ ਬਾਡੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਵਸਤੂ ਦੇ ਮਾਸ ਤੋਂ ਭਾਵ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਟਰ ਦੀ ਕੁਆਂਟੀਟੀ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਮੌਜੂਦ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਦੀ ਅਸੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਪ੍ਰਾਪਰਟੀ ਹੈ ਅਤੇ ਇਸ ਲਈ ਇਹ ਕਦੇ ਵੀ ਜ਼ੀਰੋ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਦੂਜੇ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਸ ਨਾਲ ਇਸ ਤੇ ਕਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਪ੍ਰਭਾਵ ਨਹੀਂ ਪੈਂਦਾ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਦਾ ਮਾਸ ਹਰ ਜਗ੍ਹਾ ਸਮਾਨ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਦੇ ਟੈਂਪਰੇਚਰ ਉਸ ਉੱਤੇ ਪ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਰ ਜਾਂ ਸਪੇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਬਜੈਕਟ ਦੀ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਵੀ ਇਸ ਦੇ ਮਾਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਕੋਈ ਬਦਲਾਅ नहीं आउंदा इन 1960 द 11th जनरल कॉन्फ्रेंस ऑफ वेट्स एंड मेजर्स हैड डेवलप्ड अ यूनिवर्सली एक्सेप्टेड सिस्टम ऑफ यूनिट्स सिंस देन द किलोग्राम इज द इंटरनेशनली एक्सेप्टेड यूनिट ऑफ मास अदर यूनिट्स ऑफ मास आर ग्राम्स टन्स पाउंड्स एंड आउंसेस for scientific calculations some other units of mass are also in use such as slugs unified atomic mass unit planck mass and solar mass initially 1 kilogram was defined as the mass of 1 cubic decimeter of water at 4 degree celsius this is the temperature at which the density of water is maximum the general conference of weights and measures redefined kilogram as the mass of a platinum iridium cylinder kept at the international bureau of weights and measures at severus near paris this is in france however the prototypes of the international standard kilogram supplied by the international bureau of weights and measures are available in many other laboratories of different countries in india this is available at the national physical laboratory that is npl in new delhi 1 kg is the mass of a platinum iridium cylinder kept at the international bureau of weights and measures at severus friends it is a rigid circular cylinder of equal diameter and height which is 39 mm however it is difficult to preserve a kilogram cylinder it is difficult to produce replicas of a kilogram cylinder for their use in different countries and it is also difficult 
to compare the replicas with the preserved kilogram cylinder from time to time. Because of these difficulties, it became necessary to redefine the unit of mass. Till date, the unit kilogram has not been defined on atomic standards. This mass standard has not been changed since that time because platinum iridium is an unusually stable alloy. Therefore, the earlier definition of kilogram still exists. In the near future, it may be possible that kilogram would be defined in terms of the mass of some fundamental particles like proton, electron or a neutron. While dealing with atoms and molecules, the kilogram is an inconvenient unit. In this case, there is an important standard unit of mass called the Unified Atomic Mass Unit, which has been established for expressing the mass of atoms. One Unified Atomic Mass Unit is equal to one twelfth of the mass of an atom of carbon 12 isotope including the mass of electrons which is equal to 1.66 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram whereas the Planck mass is the unit of mass named after Max Planck it is the mass for which the Schwarzschild radius is equal to the Compton length divided by pi which is equal to 2.176 into 10 to the power minus 8 kilogram. The solar mass is a standard way to express the mass in astronomy. It is used to describe the masses of galaxies, stars and planets. It is equal to the mass of Sun, which is about 1.9889 into 10 raised to the power 30 kilograms. Do you know what is a nonalien? It is a number equivalent to 10 raised to the power 30. This means the mass of the Sun is 1.98 into 10 raised to the power 30 kilogram. Furthermore, because of the relativistic connection between mass and energy, it is possible to use any unit of energy as a unit of mass instead. For example, the electron volt energy unit is normally used as a unit of mass, which is equal to 1.783 into 10 to the power minus 36 kilogram. Ek kilogram par da andaza karan lei tuanu ek udaran den deya. Ek liter dudda maas ek kilogram to thoda jeha kat honda hai. Ao kilogram de kuj multiples utte ek chat mari. Sansar vich Jina vasta da sade nal vasta penda hai, una de masses which variation bohot zyada hai. Brahman which electrons the tiny mass, 10 raised to the power minus 30 kilogram ton lake, huge mass wale celestial objects da mass, 10 raised to the power 55 kilogram tak honda hai. Ao, is table te ek chat mariye. Just which pin pin vasta de masses darsai gaihan. Approximate masses of various bodies in kilograms. Universe 10 raised to the power 55. Sun 10 raised to the power 30. Earth 10 raised to the power 25. Human beings 10 raised to the power 2. Dust particle 10 raised to the power minus 9. Proton 10 raised to the power minus 27. Electron 
10 raised to the power minus 30. The mass of a body is defined in two different ways and terms. One of them is the inertial mass and the second is the gravitational mass. Inertial mass is the measure of an object's resistance to change in its state of motion when an external force is applied. In other words, when a body is in translational motion under the effect of an external force other than gravity, the mass of the body measured is called its inertial mass. It is found that if a given force produces an acceleration A1 in a body of mass M1 and A2 in a body of mass M2, then the ratio of the two masses is equal to the ratio of the reciprocal of their accelerations. Kise body de inertial mass no mapan le inertial balance use kita janda hai. The second one is the gravitational mass. All matter has the property of possessing a gravitational field. It is uncertain whether gravity is a property of mass, but it is known that mass is affected by gravity. When a body is under the effect of gravity, in the absence of motion, the mass of the body measured is called the gravitational mass. Newton's universal law of gravity states that the force of attraction between two objects is according to the equation F is G times the product of the two masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them where F is the force of attraction between the two objects, G is the universal gravitational constant which is equal to 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kilogram square. Capital M is the known mass and small m is the unknown mass where R is the distance between the centers of the two objects. Eo, J to see two objects which car force no map na hove, ta J ek da mass ate doha which lay distance da pata hove, ta do J object da mass measure kar sak de ho. Body da gravitational mass physical balance no use karke mapya ja sak da hai. Ki to see inertial mass ate gravitational mass which koi similarity ya difference lab sakte ho ona diya definitions to ta e lagda hai ki inertial masses ate gravitational masses bilkul different han par 1960 which princeton university de robert dickey ne e siddh kita ki dove masses which 10 raised to the power minus 12 the range tak samanta hai. Is lai inertial ate gravitational mass the equality no established fact manya gaya hai. Ate inertial mass ya gravitational mass likhan di tha sadharan rope which keval body da mass hi likhya janda hai. Aam vastuwa de mass no gyaat karan lai common balance jimeh के पंसारी दे हट्टी ते हुंदी है, नो ही वर्त्या जा सकता है. Universe which वड़े मासेस जिस तरह के planets, stars आदे नू ग्यात करन ले, Newton दे gravitational law ते आधारित gravitational method नू वर्त्या जांदा है. होन असी measurement ते different methods नू विस्थार नाल समझते हैं. Measurement of inertial mass. The inertial mass of an object can be measured by using an inertial balance. It is based upon the principle that when a strip 
fixed at one end and loaded at the other end is displaced from its main position it executes vibratory motion the inertial balance consists of a pan and a block of wood joined to each other with the help of two flat metallic strips such that the flat face of the strips are vertical the wooden block can be tightly clamped to the top of a table the inertial mass of a body is measured by placing it on the pan attached to the strips and making use of the mechanics of vibratory motion when the pan is displaced horizontally in any direction it executes vibratory motion however time period of the vibratory motion depends upon the following factors first the distance of the pan that is the point where the body is placed from the point it leaves the wooden block second the modulus of elasticity of the metallic strip and thirdly the total mass of the pan and the body placed on it mathematically the time period of the vibratory motion executed by the inertial balance is given by t equal to 2 pi times the square root of the ratio of m and k where m is the mass of the pan and the body placed on it and k is the force constant of the metallic strips by measuring time period of vibration that is t with the help of a stopwatch and knowing the force constant k the value of inertial mass m of the object can be measured here mass m is equal to k upon 4 pi square multiplied by the square of the time period however in practice the inertial mass of an object is found by measuring the time period of the inertial balance for an object of the known mass let us consider an object of known inertial mass say m1 is placed on the pan and its time period is t1 then the object of unknown inertial mass is placed on the pan and its time period is t2 we have measured the time period t1 for an object of known inertial mass m1 and t2 for the object of unknown inertial mass if m2 is the inertial mass of the unknown object then from the relation between mass and corresponding time period we have the relation as the ratio of the two masses is equal to the ratio of the square of the corresponding time periods this gives the measure of unknown inertial mass m2 equal to m1 times the ratio of the square of the time period of unknown and known masses so if you know the values of known inertial mass m1 its time period t1 and time period t2 for the unknown mass you can measure the unknown inertial mass however for better measurement we draw a graph between mass and the square of time period for known masses and measure the time period of unknown mass and then measure unknown mass from the graph now let us continue with the measurement of gravitational mass the gravitational mass of a body can be measured by using a physical balance 
A physical balance is based on the principle of levers. A physical beam balance consists of a light and rigid metallic beam balanced at the center on a sharp knife edge and rests on a central vertical pillar. From the two ends of the beam, two pens are suspended with the help of knife edges. Two adjusting screws are provided at the extremities of the beam for slight adjustment. The beam at its center carries a long pointer moving on a small ivory scale. A plumb line suspended close to the vertical pillar is for leveling the balance by means of screws provided at the base of the balance. The whole arrangement is enclosed in a wooden box having glass windows to avoid air currents. We can raise the beam from its position of rest with the help of a lever. To measure the mass of a body, we place the body on the left pen and the standard weights on the right pen. The tongs are used to handle the weights. The weights are adjusted till the beam becomes horizontal. When it is so, the gravitational force on the body to be measured is equal to the gravitational force on the standard weights and hence the gravitational mass of the body will be equal to that of the standard weights. However, measurement of small masses of atomic and subatomic particles etc. We make use of mass spectrograph in which the radius of the trajectory is proportional to the mass of a charged particle moving in uniform electric and magnetic field. Mass no measure karanda sab to easy ate common tarika tolna hai jo ki gravity di sahayata rahi honda hai. Do palanaya wali takdi vich agyat vastu de par di gyat par wale vatya nal tulna kar de haan. Phir vi rozana varto vich maas no aam taur te वेट ही आख दिता जांदा है। उदाहरण दे तौर ते असी कहंदे हां ऑब्जेक्ट दा वेट 1 किलोग्राम है। हालांकि तुसी जानते हो किलोग्राम मास दी यूनिट है। तद ता ए है कि वेट अते मास दो में बिल्कुल डिफरेंट क्वांटिटीज हां। वेट इन फिजिक्स Weight is the measurement of the strength of the gravitational force acting on the object. That is how heavy it is. We know that the unit of mass is kilogram, but the unit of weight is kilogram weight and its SI unit is Newton. The weight of a body of mass m is equal to the product of mass with acceleration due to gravity. Mass kise object the unchanging property hai. Jad ki weight object utte lag rahe gravitational force ta maap hai. Weight ya gravitational force tarti upar kise thaan to duji thaan badlan naal ate tarti di sata to upar ya thalle. डुंगाई या ऊंचाई बदलन नाल बदल जावेगा। उदाहरण दे तौर ते जे तुसी कदे चंद तक यात्रा करन वाले खुश नसीब होवो ता तुसी वेखोगे कि त्वाडा वेट तरती उपर ज्ञात वेट नालों कट गया है। हालांकि मास 
बिल्कुल नहीं बदलेगा की तुम दस सकते हो कि धरती के केंद्र से थोड़े शरीर का वेट की होगा अर्थ के सेंटर से बॉडी का वेट जीरो हो जाएगा जो कि यह दर्शा है कि वेट किसी वस्तु की असेंशल प्रॉपर्टी नहीं है इफ मास एंड वेट आर डिफरेंट आर दे मेजर डिफरेंटली यस मास इज मेजर्ड ऑन अ बैलेंस एंड वेट इज मेजर्ड ऑन अ स्केल व्हिच कैन मेजर द पुल ऑफ द ग्रेविटी ऑन अ गिवन मास मेजरमेंट ऑफ वेट अ स्प्रिंग बैलेंस इज यूज्ड टू मेजर द वेट ऑफ अ बॉडी इट इज अ डायरेक्ट रीडिंग टाइप ऑफ अ बैलेंस अ स्प्रिंग बैलेंस is based on hooke's law which states that the extension produced in a spring is directly proportional to the force applied provided the spring is not loaded beyond its elastic limit a spring balance consists of a helical steel spring whose upper end is fixed and a hook is connected to the lower end with the help of a metallic rod the spring is enclosed in a metallic case having a slit along its length a pointer is also attached to the spring moves in the slit when some weight is attached to the hook the edge of the slit is graduated in grams or kilograms when the body is suspended from the hook it experiences gravitational pull equal to the weight of the body depending upon the magnitude of the gravitational pull on it the spring gets elongated the reading of the pointer on the scale gives the weight of the body suspended from the hook weight jo asi aam taur te measure karde ha o thalle wal lagya gravity di downward force nahi hai sagon o ta jis surface te asi khade ha utthe lag reha upward force hai is upward force nu नॉर्मल फोर्स कहा जाता है इस नॉर्मल फोर्स नो एपरेंट वेट भी आख्या जाता है जिस नो स्प्रिंग स्केल राही मिनिया जाता है जेडी वस्तु स्टेशनरी पोजीशन च होवे उस उत्ते नॉर्मल फोर्स धरती दे ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स नो बैलेंस कर रहा होता है अते ए एपरेंट वेट अते एक्चुअल वेट दा मैग्नीट्यूड होता है बिफोर कंक्लूडिंग टूडेज टॉपिक लेट मी शो यू एन एग्जाम्पल फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ वेट इफ द मास ऑफ अ बॉय इज ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोग्राम देन हिज वेट ऑन अर्थ इज ट्वेंटी फाइव किलोग्राम वेट और टू फोर्टी फाइव न्यूटन वेर एज ऑन द मून the mass of the same boy still remains 25 kg but his weight becomes 40.5 newton or 4.1 kg weight now let us summarize today's topic summary the mass of an object is the quantity of matter it contains it is an essential property of any material object and it can never be zero it is not affected by the presence of other objects it does not vary with the change in temperature pressure or the location of the object in space mass of a body is of two types one is the inertial mass and the other is 
the gravitational mass. When a body is in translational motion under the effect of an external force other than gravity, the mass of the body measured is called its inertial mass. To measure inertial mass of a body, an inertial balance is used. Now, it is the turn of the gravitational mass. When a body is under the effect of gravity, in the absence of motion, the mass of the body measured is called its gravitational mass. Kise body the gravitational mass physical balance nu use karke mene ajanda hai. Measurement of gravitational mass. In everyday usage, mass is more commonly referred to as weight. In fact, weight and mass are quite different quantities. Weight. In physics, weight is the measurement of the strength of the gravitational force on the object. Mass is an intrinsic, unchanging property of an object, whereas weight is a measure of the gravitational force acting on that object. Weight or the gravitational force can change with location as well as it may vary from place to place on the earth and also with the distance above or below the ground. Weight is measured on a spring balance. So now we come to the end of today's topic. Here's a quick test for you just to find out how much have you actually absorbed. First question, define mass. Answer, mass of an object is the quantity of matter it contains. Second question, name the two types of masses. Yes, the two types of masses are inertial mass and gravitational mass. Next, define inertial mass. Well, the answer is when a body is in translational motion under the effect of an external force other than gravity, the mass of the body measured is called its inertial mass. Next question. Define gravitational mass. Answer. When a body is under the effect of gravity, in absence of motion, the mass of the body measured is called gravitational mass. Next question. Using which type of balance you can measure the inertial mass? Right you are. Inertial balance is used for the measurement of inertial mass of a body. Next question. By which type of balance you can measure the gravitational mass? Correct again. Physical balance is used for the measurement of gravitational mass of a body. Define weight. Weight is the measurement of the strength of the gravitational force on the object. And the last question for today. By which type of balance can you measure the weight? Yes, spring balance is used for the measurement of the weight of a body. I hope you all enjoyed the lesson as much as I did and are looking forward to the next class. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.